I mean, at least we're not talking about the Girardi fraud case and all that. Hopefully, we'll, the next thing we'll hear is that he's been, you know, found guilty. We all know he's been indicted. So hopefully that's that. All right. So this one is from Reality Blurb. It says, Erica Jane skips dinner with Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast in Spain as Crystal is missing during daytime event. Erica Jane was noticeably absent from a filmed group event for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 13 in Spain on Wednesday night. After landing in Europe earlier this week with her castmates, including Kyle, Dorit, Garcelle, Sutton, Crystal, and Anne-Marie, Erica skipped a dinner a dinner date with her castmates in Barcelona. But while Erica was absent for the ladies' dinner on Wednesday evening, she was present when they ventured out earlier in the day. In a photo shared by Kyle, Erica was seen in a printed dress and a neon green sleeveless jacket as she smiled alongside her and the rest of the cast, including Sutton, who was holding her hand. Erica was also seen in a photo shared by Dorit. On another outing that included Sutton, Garcelle, Kyle, and Anne-Marie, who joined the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast earlier this year, as Crystal was noticeably absent. While things between the group seemed to be going well at first, rumors began swirling in regard to potential tension between Erica and another cast member, or cast members, after she failed to turn up to dinner. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast was spotted filming earlier today on their cast trip to Barcelona, Barcelona, but Erica was not present. Everything Housewives revolved on Instagram. Erica didn't attend the cast trip. She was just not present at the outing, which has been a common occurrence for her throughout filming so far, skipping out on things such as dinners and events. Bravos and Cocktails also shared the photo. Uh-huh. At mid-dinner, Kyle shared a behind-the-scenes pic of herself with Crystal and Craig and blah, 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 all that stuff. Although fans will have to wait to see why Erica skipped the group outing, Erica was rumored to have been involved in a tiff between Crystal and Anne-Marie at the end of last month. Last night, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills filmed at Dorit's Homeless Not Toothless charity event. It can be seen in the images above the Crystal and that Crystal and the newbie Anne-Marie seem to be having an argument, and the last slide shows Anne-Marie ranting to Erica. Then around the same time, Queens of Bravo said that at the event, two former enemies, now friends, were seen feuding with the newbie Anne-Marie. All right, now this is the speculation around what went down. So the speculation around what went down is that Erica and Crystal are coming for Anne-Marie because of... I I have yet to know what Anne Marie's personal views of it has been. It's been what her husband has said. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say that because I think that people are their are their individual selves. You can't be like her husband said this. It's like okay, we got it. Um, but because of what he said about you know trans athletes, whether or not they should compete with people who were born with certain genders at birth and people are up in arms about his comments about that it's been speculated that crystal is having an issue with that that uh erica jane is having an issue with that and you know Anne marie is very conservative in general you know she's friends with candace owens her husband's very vocal about their conservative views and then i also heard that even kyle and garcelle were kind of getting in on it as well you know because of Anne marie's views and maybe her husband's views on all of that now, this is my hot take on this. This might be unpopular. It might be popular. I don't know. You guys put it down. But this is how I personally feel about the situation. Number one, actually, I have a couple of thoughts on this, <laughs> obviously. Number one is this. I really, really hope they don't make this a thing. And what I mean by that is I'm so tired of racism and homophobia transphobia, white supremacy, blah, 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 sexual assaults, all of that stuff. Like we, I think we, as a collective need to be, we need a break. We need to breathe. We need to go back to like what Roa just did with their first episode. I hope it stays light and fun where they're talking about like Candy Burris did a meme and that meme was crazy. And this guy like, you know, tweeted in my DMs and blah, 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 blah. And like, I should buy you KFC. Like, I want that. I want the fun back. 
I don't want another season of let's tear people down over like truly trauma inducing dark stuff. Like, can we just have a break? Can we have a break? Can we have a break? <laughs> like, let's just have a break, you know? Um, so I think that's kind of where I stand on that. Crystal, girl, did you learn? And, I, and this is another thing with Crystal. I hope Crystal is showing up as a normal person, whatever that looks like in her world. Crystal, we don't need another, oh, Sutton, you said something really dark when she didn't situation. Oh, you're that girl who doesn't see color. Shut up, Crystal. You know what I mean? And then all of that, like, I don't want another season of Crystal just, you know, breaking down at every single thing, making a mole out of a mountain hill and like saying things about people and exasperating situations. Like, Crystal, I just want to see you live in your beautiful mansion in Beverly Hills with your 14 friends and be ladies who lunches. I want to see where you're shopping. I want to see you, your home decor. You know, I want to see what all of that looks like. I want to see, you know, bring the girls over for cocktails and Aperol spritzes and get the, the private jet and go to Paris and get some beignets. Like, that's what I want to see. I, Crystal, I don't really want to see you harp on your political social views. I'm over it, Crystal. Crystal. Like, you barely made it back, okay? We barely took you back. And you're still over there with the hoots with Dirty Diana. So shut up, Crystal. Nobody wants to talk to you, okay? That's what I have to say there. Now, Erica Jane can have all of the seats. I'm not even talking about the Girardi stuff. I'm going to tell you why Erica Jane can have all of the seats. Erica Jane can have all of the seats. How dare you, Erica Jane, think you have a leg to stand on when it comes to defending LGBTQIA trans community when you sat up there at last reunion, if memory serves me right, and you said the F word without hesitation, without censoring yourself, without any thought, it flowed out of your mouth like it wasn't the first time, second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, 100 time. It just flowed all the way out of your mouth without a regard for how people in those communities might feel of you saying that on national television. And you have yet to admit that that was wrong. You have yet to say, I am sorry. It, I didn't mean it. It was inappropriate. I was repeating something that I never should have repeated. It was wrong. So now all of a sudden you think you have a leg to stand on to go against Anne Marie and her husband. Now, this is the thing. I'm not defending Anne Marie or her husband. I don't know exactly what their views are or what they aren't. I don't know what exactly has transpired or what hasn't trans transpired. So I'm not defending them because I don't even know what they really said or did. So that's just over here in the corner. I'm not defending them. I'm just saying, I hope it doesn't go dark. Like I need a I think we all need a beat with all of that stuff. Like, let's just keep it clean and fun. And then also, like, Crystal doesn't really have a leg to stand on with this stuff. And neither does Erica. Erica, J Erica Jane, to me, exploits the Black community. She exploits the gay community. You know, just because you wear... Um, you know, your hair with extensions and stuff and you have the nails and you put on your little black scent, blah, 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 doesn't mean you actually cultivate or give back or respect the culture that you are appropriating. Just because you benefit from exploiting the gay community doesn't mean you actually respect gay culture or those people. You know, to me, it's very like exploit, it's exploitation. I feel she uses that community for her own gain. Because if she really respected that community, she never would have said that word. I don't make money or profit, you know, from the gay community at all, but I would never in my life say the F word like that. But yet that's who she has profited from with her whole little pretty mess, Erica Jane, Pat the Puss and blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? She exploits that community, but doesn't actually respect them. So shut up, Erica. If you are going to go after anybody for having any type of homophobic tendencies, start with yourself. Start with apologizing for what you said. Do you see what I'm saying?
It's exploitation without actually respecting the culture. And I do believe that people can partake and celebrate and embody and embrace other cultures. Duh, of course, we all do every single day. But as long as you respect the people who create the culture, that's fine. Exploitation is when you benefit from the culture without respecting the people who create it. That is what exploitation is. And I feel like that's what Erica Jane is. Girl, bye. Shut up. Miss me with all of this. It's my hope that this season isn't a boring mess. If you guys remember, I did the whole five things of Bravo that's boring me right now. It's my hope that this season isn't a boring mess because I kind of feel like it's getting a little boring and it's getting a little sloppy. Like at first I was really excited. I was like, they're bringing so many people back. But then I was like, wait a minute, they're bringing so many people back. What are they going to be like cohesive storylines? Or is it just going to be everybody windmilling for a diamond? Is it going to be boring and flat? Like, I don't know. Like I'm like, even like looking at Erica, I was like, I'm tired of looking at her. She's on Ozempic. I, I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, gossip news. I think Sun and Erica may become friends too. Yeah, that's another thing. It's just like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just holding a grudge, but I don't like Erica. I don't want people to be friends with her. I think she still should be in jail. I think she should be indicted with Girardi. I'm not going to forget what she did. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to forget what she did. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. What do you think about, you know, Anne Marie, she's a conservative, and her husband. Oh, and that's another thing. I need to find a clip of Anne Marie talking. Like, I need to figure out what her vibe is, what her energy is. I can't really grasp her from the photos. She seems a little flat to me. And by flat, I just mean like cute, conservative, you know, doctor, house, you know, she's a doctor, great husband, cute kids you know, doing the thing. Like, I don't really know what her energy or vibe is. Off the top of my head, I actually think that she probably would have been a better fit for the OC just because she's so conservative and all the OC girls are really conservative too. So we'll see. We'll see with that. I need to find a clip of Anne Marie actually talking so I can get a better read on her energy. But right now I'm kind of like, I feel like she's not going to be the best chemistry fit if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. Let's see, but put it down below. I want to know what you guys think. And then we're going to move on to our next story, which isn't about Beverly Hills. It's about Vanderpump Rules. And I just wanted to give a shout out to our favorite James Kennedy.